Hello DGENs, hello newbies, and hello experienced crypto users. My name is Sebastian, welcome back to the Ledger tutorial series. This video is video 8, and today we're going to be talking about how to store your seed safely. Now nothing in this video whatsoever is financial advice, and in fact, these are only my viewpoints. You should definitely properly put in your research when it comes to this. Also, it's so hot where I am right now, so I am going to be sweating quite a lot, but it's important that I get this information to you. We all agree on that, right? Okay, so we know what our seed phrase is. This is our seed phrase. Our ledger has 24 words. We also call it a secret recovery phrase or a recovery phrase, or sometimes people call it a private key. It's not a private key. The private key is derived from these words, but what we're gonna to refer to this as is just the seed words or the seed phrase, just for this tutorial. Make it a little bit faster. Now, all the information I'm about to give you is gonna have varying levels of agreement. Some people will agree with A and some people will agree with B, so it's really up to you. This is one of those situations where a little bit of research and really planning what is the best thing to do is the right way to do it. All right, so let's dive in. Firstly, here I am at Phantom. They don't give any information regarding your seed phrase and where to store it. They're referring to their hot wallet seed, but basically, as you can see here, always back up your seed phrase offline and store it somewhere safe. Now, somewhere safe is very, very vague. If we have a look at the Ivana wallet docs, and this is a wallet that I personally use and the wallet that I prefer, we can see it's essentially the same. Over here, it just says, make sure you copy the information, click copy button and store it somewhere safe. However, when we get to ledger.com, we've got quite a bit more information. And also MetaMask used to have quite a bit of information. However, I can't find that on their website at the moment. It's not as easy to navigate. I'm gonna link this below and you should read this and also watch their little video. Pretty much all the information along here I agree with. They are industry leaders. So in some ways you should listen to what they say. However, there are rules that they will follow to protect newbies that I won't follow because we're doing more research and putting in more effort. Okay, option number one, you get your seed phrase, all 24 words. It's written in ballpoint pen, so it's gonna last a lot longer. And ideally, you've written it in capital letters. I haven't, but I can read my writing, and others can too. If you have writing that's a little bit, uh, then write in caps. So let's pretend this is on here, and here as well. So let's say we've got three different copies and we have triple checked them, we know they're all correct. The next thing to do is to get one of these bags. Ideally something even better than this. You know, one of the ones where you seal it at the top and it's like a double seal and it's like kind of waterproof and you can lock air in it and it won't squeeze out. That's really what you're after. You'll put it in the bag, you'll seal it up, fold it up, something like that. And then using a permanent marker, which I don't have handy, you'll write something along this. Maybe you're going to write, say, your name, S-E-B, or something else like O-N-E for one. That way, you're going to know if the person opens it up and then puts it back together, there's going to be something that basically shows that it was tampered with. Then this next part is optional, but I would get like a bit of cardboard or something like that. I would put it over here. Then I would take some duct tape and I would put it all around here. So it's completely sealed. So if someone just looked at it, they wouldn't know what it was. The reason why I've got this cardboard here is so the duct tape doesn't stick to the permanent marker and then show you that your tamper-proof evidence is gone. So we're going to have three of these bags. One, two, three. They're going to go to three different trusted people. Maybe your nan, maybe your uncle, maybe your best friend. And we'll go over ideas on where they should store it in a few minutes. Now option two. We take the same seed phrase. However, we only take the first 12 words and we put it onto another piece of paper. It doesn't have to be this. It can be another piece of cardboard or something like that. And we make three copies of that. So there's the first 12 words three times. And then we take these 12 words and we put it onto another piece of cardboard three different times. We do the same seal approach, putting it in the bag, doing all that stuff. And then we give that to six trusted people. Now the advantages with this method is if someone breaks in and they actually gain access to the seed phrase, then they've only got half the words and they still need the other 12 words. So that is something I definitely recommend. Now, if we just flick back to the ledger support, we can see that one of their things says, do not split your recovery phrase into multiple parts and a link to here's why. Following this link through, you can see the reason why they say it. However, the first comment is one that someone disagrees with. And I agree with the disagreeer. But watch this video if you want to, maybe you will decide to not split it up. However, anyone that I've spoken to that is more concerned about operational security will always split it up. Okay, so option number three, you do this method, but instead of doing 12 words, you do eight words. So from rent down to warfare, that goes to two different people. And then the next eight words, 
from antenna to want that goes to another two people and then the final eight words goes to another two people. You would use the same approach with your bag or something that you deem safe. You could also use lawyers. However, use lawyers with different firms with no affiliation and trusted lawyers. That option would be beneficial if the seed owner had actually unexpectedly passed away. The family and friends with the lawyers would be able to get the seed back together to work out which crypto assets they have. Who knows, they could have 100 DGNAPs in there and a whole bucket load of Solana. Option number four, take these 24 words and memorize them straight into your mind. Make your significant other, your wife, husband, or whatever, actually memorize them as well. The easiest way to do this is to take this card every morning and put it on the mirror in front of the bathroom. Brush your teeth, read it, and then just practice it. Make sure there are no phones in the bathroom or any security cameras or anything like that. And of course, have no windows open so no one can see what you're doing. After a week, you will definitely know it and then you just practice it twice a week or so and just confirm it back to your significant other. And whenever you two disagree, then you know there's an issue. The memorized technique is not the only option that you would do though. That's in conjunction with another option, in my opinion. And there are pros and cons with this. I'm sure you can work them out yourself. It's just an option if you've got a bit of a bigger brain up there. Now, before I go any further, let's mention some safe places on where you can put this seed phrase. I do not think a safe is a good option. If someone came into your house, found a safe and they wanted to steal it, if they couldn't open it, they would just pick it up or in some way they'll be able to extract it, take it back to their workshop and there they have your seed phrase or maybe eight or 12 words of your seed phrase. Instead of putting it there, it might be a better idea to store it in maybe the roof or under the floor or in the wall or in furniture or in the ground outside down about half a meter in some waterproof container something like that there are plenty of places where you can work out where to store your seed phrase don't go for anything obvious option number six and my preferred option is to use these metal backups i'll have all the links below so you can work out which ones you want to get this one here is a keystone tablet and this one just fits 12 words this could be a good option if you've decided to separate your seed phrase into parts how it works is you put the first four letters of each word and because of the nature of the word list the first four letters is all that you would need. If you have a look at number four here, it's S-P-H-E, which is clearly not a word, but we both know it's gonna be sphere. But if you're not a native English speaker, you would just put S-P-H-E into your ledger and your ledger would say sphere, and then you just select it. This is a pretty good option because it's designed to be indestructible with a fireproof threshold of about 1450 degrees Celsius. It's made of stainless steel, so it's waterproof and corrosion resistant. And you can read the website yourself if you want more details. Keystone also has the Keystone Tablet Plus. This one has the 24 words. And as you can see, they've got this feature where this hole lines up with this hole and you put a padlock through it. So that way, you know if it's been tampered with. Both the Tablet Plus and the Keystone Tablet have the same design. You can see more options at CryptoSteel.com. There's another brand here, Bill Foddles, which I haven't actually heard of or used before but this might be something that you're interested in. Then this one I haven't heard of either, Alipal, but it might be something that you're after. It looks pretty cool and it's quite reasonable. SafePal have one as well. And here is an old school system, Steel Wallet. This is pretty cool, but you etch the numbers in by making an indentation. So if you make a mistake, well, you kind of have to buy another one. But I think if you didn't make any mistakes, this would have the best longevity. You can see other options on amazon.com. And also if you go back to ledger.com, go up the top to products, and then click on see all products scrolling down to the bottom they've got three options the crypto steel the bill foddle and the crypto tag zeus so you can go and have a look at reviews for those ones now there are plenty more options and you can also do things such as putting these in a bank vault if you want to just remember if you're going to use a bank vault ideally use a couple of bank vaults still make sure you pay for a good amount of time like say 10 years on each bank vault and make sure they've got a good reputation a really good reputation you probably also want to have a decent amount of crypto before you go and use one of those solutions. Another option you may want to do is to get some secure flash drives, something where you can password protect them. This one here I've got up on the screen is pretty damn expensive and you need quite a few of these, but I'm sure you could get other ones that were more affordable, but still secure. Now there are risks here, of course. I would suggest using a different computer, reinstalling Windows or Mac, and then turning off Wi-Fi completely, opening the text document, putting them in there, saving it, putting it onto the encryption device and encrypting it. And then before you use that laptop again, erase the hard drive, zero it out and reinstall an operating system. 
Now that's quite a lot of work for most people, so it might be too much work for you. And if we go back to the Ledger article, we have this one here. Do not make a digital copy of your recovery phrase. However, it does have a few pros, and it also has some cons. So there are some of the options for keeping your seed phrase safe. None of those options are my recommendations. They're just ideas. I would probably sway towards a metal backup with the splitting of my seed, but then again, I would also sway towards an encrypted digital copy, which a lot of people will say no under no circumstances. However, it would be a digital copy of just a segment of those words. But to make it pretty clear, I would not be putting my 24 words in a password manager, such as 1Password. I would not encrypt it into a file, put it on the USB, and then take the USB, put it into a computer, and then email it to myself, or store it in the cloud. And I also would not take a photo of it. Some people do get those Instafilm cameras. However, they're not really necessary. You can just write it out yourself, and the ballpoint pen or a special pen will probably last longer than the photo. So I hope those ideas have helped you. Exactly which one you're going to choose, let me know in the comments. I have my preferred favorite, but that doesn't mean it's the same for you. Just remember, when it comes to operational security, doing more is beneficial and not cutting any corners. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like and share this with your friends. Any questions, put them below and keep watching the next videos in the series to continue to learn how to use your ledger. Thanks again. Cheers.